Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Sheltered 2 where the keepers of the tea find themselves hoping for a spot of rain because their water situation is not brilliant right now. I mean it's not terrible, it's not really awful, we have had worse but it could be a little bit better. So as you can see up here we currently have 19 units of, I mean the game says water but obviously this is the keepers of the tea we're talking about so it means tea really, the game is a bit confused. So we have 19 units of lovely fresh piping hot tea to go around so it's not all bad bad and very fortunately we do have a couple of days of rain ahead of us. Now the rain due today as you can see is black rain. I don't quite know what the deal is with the black rain. Is it radioactive or acidic or poisonous or something? I don't really know but whatever the case it will need to go through the purifier. Now that has been upgraded a little bit so it can purify things a bit quicker and it can hold a little bit more contaminated water so hopefully that will sort of top up our supplies a little bit and then tomorrow we have regular ordinary non-radioactive poisonous acidic whatever it is rain and that will hopefully see us okay for a short while so fingers crossed over the next few days we get lots of water so we can make a lot more tea because that will be marvellous however let's begin today by making sure that everybody has the skill which means we don't get attacked by enemy factions because that's going to be really handy and then when everybody has that skill we can just go a wandering we can go a wandering without fear of being set upon by the enemy that's going to be really handy so i think yeah let's start with barbara so the little thing is flashing on and off so she does have some points to spend so let's go and have a look so a strength point oh there's a little kind of dot flashing on and off oh is that new is that new or has that always been there i'm pretty sure that's not always been there I think that might be part of a recent update. Okay, so yeah, so she's got one point in strength and she has three points in charisma. Oh, Barbara. Oh, we've completely overlooked your amazing work you've been doing in getting your charisma up. I apologize, Barbara. Um, okay, okay, let's start over here then. So Barbara, you've got three points. Hang on, hang on. She's got the perfect amount. We can get this for Barbara right now. I think what we do is let's get Barbara, let's get Barbara's inspiring skill up to the top. There we go. So you can be super inspiring, Barbara. And then with your final point, you can have Mission of Mercy. There we go. So now if Barbara's traveling alone, which I think might be a little bit dangerous, or with other characters who have this skill, and that's what we're trying to get, they're not going to be attacked by other factions. That's really good. That's really handy. And then in terms of strength, what do we do here with Barbara? Right, so she's maxed out crush wind pipes. So she's very, very good at crushing people's wind pipes. How about... How about we, um, I don't know, do we give her an imposing physique? I don't think that's kind of Barbara's thing. I think, given that Barbara is our kind of clever brainy person, she likes doing the crafting. She loves building things as Barbara. So I think, I think we should give her a point extra in backpack weight training. Because then, yeah, she can carry more stuff. Although, although there are quite a lot of other strength skills that we haven't looked at. Hang on, let me go and look through everything and let's see if backpack weight training is the way we want to go with Barbara. Do you know what? I think that is the right thing for Barbara. I like that. So, you know, Barbara does like making things. And now when she goes out exploring, she can bring back more useful materials that she can then use back at base to build more stuff. So there we go. That makes perfect sense. So Barbara, you can just carry a few more things. And there we go. Tier two is now unlocked for Barbara. Okay, that's exciting. Right, who's next? Uh, William. William has leveled up as well. Not in charisma, unfortunately, but if he does get a charisma point, he can then have soothing words. No, not soothing words. He can have mission of mercy. That's all we want. He's already got soothing words. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so dexterity right now. Uh, okay, right, hang on. Is that, wow, where's kick? Is kick in here? Oh yeah, okay. We can't, we can't upgrade kick, unfortunately. Um, okay, right. Let's have a look. What's going to be good for, what's going to be good for Will here? I mean, yeah, he generally goes around with a baseball bat right now, but we could, we could equip him with a knife. We have knives, or we could increase his chances of performing a counterattack from 10% to 20%. So one in 5% chance, or one in five, not percent, one in five chance, yay numbers, um, of performing a counterattack. I quite like that. I like that. Let's go for that with Will. Uh, oh, hang on. He's got another, he's got two points. Okay, do you know what? Let's gather up to 30%. Splendid stuff. Right, so Will does need to go down to the uh, to the bookcase thing. Okay, Will, go down there right now. Go and read a charisma book, please, my friend. There we go. Right, so that's good. Um, Sharon, Sharon can level up. Oh, hang on. Sharon's got charisma. Two points available. This is excellent stuff. Um, let's give her, hang on, what does that do at the end? Uh, convincing voice. Increase the chance of successfully attracting a recruit or trader by 5% when requesting them through the radio. Um, 
Do you know what? That, that's sort of okay. I think, let's go for soothing words. Again, let's get somebody else who can cure other characters of fear. That's handy. And then we will have that. Okay, right, I'm marking people off. So Barbara has that skill. And now Sharon has that skill. I've got everyone's names written down. And I've got a pencil. I'm ticking it off. And then we've got two strength points. Oh my goodness me. Okay, how about poison punch? How about poison punch or blunt force specialization? Um, hang on, no, she's, she's stabby. She's stabby, yeah. Okay, how about poison punch then? Let's get her with that skill. That could be quite fun. So a couple of points in that, please. So there we go. So now she can poison people. That's fun. Uh, Chris, oh crikey, everyone's got so many things. Right, Chris already has that. That is excellent. This is going very well. Okay, dexterity-wise, one point available. Um, you seem to have that up quite high. I'm not so bothered about that anymore. I'm not so bothered about the uh, sleight of hand attack. How about, again, fast reflexes? Counter-attacking has got to be a good thing. So, okay, you have that, please. And you've already got the sort of Mission of Mercy skill. And Ronald. Oh, Ronald's got lots of charisma, has he? No, he's only got one to spend. Okay, okay, how about then... How about Ronald? You have soothing words as well, because that does seem quite handy. And then you have a strength point. Um, okay, let's... I mean, he's got one point in, what's this? Inherent strength. Gain 5% extra experience from using strength-related exercise objects. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, I see. Right, so the more he uses the sort of the punch bag or whatever, he's going to get more experience from it. Oh, okay. Well, let's make Ronald our super strength expert then, shall we? Did we have him going down the route of... Oh, no, we had him going down the route of guns, though, didn't we? We wanted him to be a shooty person. Um, okay, no, never mind then. Let's get um, let's get Ronald with this. Let's get Crush Windpipe. And Ronald can at least try and you know, take some people out of action if he needs to. Okay, but yeah, Ronald does not have the Mission of Mercy skill. He's not too far off. He's not far off. And Betty. Okay, so Betty has... Uh, she's already got that. That's good. Right, so Betty, yes, tick. So really, it's only Will and Ronald that need that skill. And then everyone can go out and we're impervious to the enemy as we wander around. Unless we, of course, go and attack the enemy ourselves. Then there'll be a fight, but they're not going to come and find us. That's very good. Um, okay, and this is Betty. This is Betty, isn't it? I mean, yeah, let's get Crush Windpipe up to the top. Betty's signature move. Absolutely, there we go. Right, so I think everybody has skill points. I think Will's going to go down there. That could do with being repaired. Could we repair that, please, as we're going past? That will be marvellous. Okay, so here we go. Will can hopefully level up a little bit. That's going to be really handy. And then that leaves just Ronald. And so as soon as William has done this, as soon as he's finished reading this exciting charisma book, we'll get Ronald down here to have a look at stuff. And black rain on the surface. Here we go. I mean, I, it looks more green to me. It looks more green than black rain. But okie doke game, it's sinister, unpleasant rain. So that should be filling up. There we go. Four contaminated water. That's going to slowly start filling up. And five. So this is all water coming our way. Right, there we go. Will has finished doing that. Good job. How about, Will, you go up and have a shower before you go and eat some food? Uh, I suppose you could actually just go and wash your hands, but you do need a shower anyway. You are a bit grubby. So, okay, you go and do that, please. And then, Ron, where are you? Ronald, Get down here, please, and read a charisma book. And William, here we go. Charisma, mission of mercy, sorted. Okay, this is wonderful. This is going very well. So now it's only Ronald, but our main adventuring party of Betty, Will, Chris and Sharon all have the mission of mercy skill, which means that they can just sort of go around the place and not be too troubled by the enemy, which is wonderful. The bed has broken down. Oh no, which bed? That one. Okay, right. Maybe Betty can repair the bed. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. There we go. Splendid stuff. Good job, Betty. And then you've gone from fixing a bed to having a nice chat about music with Will. And you're getting on. Talking about, I don't know, their shared love of thrash metal or something. I've got no idea. Okay, so good news. We can make a little bit more meat stew. However, let's not get Barbara doing that. And um, Will, you can go and do that. What do these numbers down here mean? Oh, I see. They're the percentage chances of you actually making that stuff. Oh, no. Let's get Barbara to do it. Let's get Barbara. Brainy Barbara can go and do the cooking. Because then, yeah, we might get some fairly high quality food out of this. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, we can make five lots of the meat stew. So yes, please, go and do that. Because that uses up all the broccoli we've got. But yeah, you might as well go and do that. And then I would like to get Barbara to uh, do some crafting as well. I'd like to get her to produce some sort of uh, tradable items. That'd be quite handy. Um, in the meantime, can somebody go and repair that, please? Thank you very much. How, uh, how did Ronald do? Where are you, Ronald? Is that you? 
Did you level up? You've got no points in charisma. Oh, Ronald, never mind. Never mind. We'll work on it, Ronald. Right, so has she finished making the lovely food? And I think for food, yeah, we're looking really good for food. We're looking very good for food. We have quite a lot of meat stew. Um, we could, we could make some soups as well. We could make some soups, or we could just turn some of this stuff here into, into rations. How are we for rations? What have we got? We've only got three. We've only got three travel rations. Yeah, that's, um, that's not good, is it? Hang on, hang on. If we want to go exploring, we have to get some rations done. Ah, we can't just turn regular peas into rations anymore. I think that might be a change they've made to the game. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we can only turn processed kind of, you know, actual food into travel rations, which would sort of make sense because otherwise, you know, turning peas into travel rations means you've just got a bag of peas, which is, you know, not exactly a travel ration, is it? So um, I think, given, I mean, our water is ticking up ever so slightly. I mean, what if we go into here and let's just turn, how many rations do we get from one lot of meat stew? 14. Okay, so if we did two lots of meat stew for 28 rations, what if we threw in a tin as well? 36. There we go. I'm happy with that. So you go and make 36 lots of rations. I don't even think it takes that long. There we go. That's all done already. That was very quick, Barbara. Well done. And now, Barbara, I know I know you do everything, Barbara. I know that's why you collapsed last time, because you do everything around the place. Uh, but could you please go and craft us, um, I don't know, maybe five lenses because they are good tradable commodities. And then, how about, now I know this uses water, I know it's a water thing, but maybe a little bit of glue. How about three lots of glue? There we go. Okay, you go and do that. Um, and where's Betty? Betty, whereabouts are you? Can you go and have a word with them? Um, hang on, contact, Los Muertos. Hello, got any jobs for us? Um, ah, okay, right. To rescue, oh no, rescue or a capture. Oh. This faction, requ uh, this faction requires you to capture a member of the following faction. Ah, okay, no, we haven't got a holding cell. A rescue operation to liberate a captured member of this faction. Locate them and defeat their captors to release them. Okay, so if we do this, that means that we're likely going to make an enemy of the CTK mob. But I think that's sort of likely anyway. But then we might become quite good friends with the Los Muertos people. And they might help us out. Do we go and do a rescue job? I think we can. Our people have got the skill now to avoid you know, being bothered by any of the other factions until they get to where they want to go. So, yeah, okay, let's accept that job. Here we go. We're going to go and do a rescue thing. Right, here's a location where they're being held. Get them back to us soon or you'll be losing something to you in a sun. There's no need for that kind of language. <laughs> Gabriella, come on, we're all friends here. I'll bring some tea around. It's fine. Um, okay, right, so where do we need to go? Um, okay, so view map. Where are they being held? Over there over there. Okay, so not too far away. That's going to be quite quick to get to. However, I feel like we do need to go relatively quickly. So let's make sure that our sort of expedition party are ready to go. So Betty, whereabouts are you, Betty? Ah, Betty's in the shower. That's absolutely fine. So Betty's in the shower. So she's getting clean. Right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Uh, Ronald, you repair that bed, please. Right, Betty, go get yourself a drink. Who else is coming out with us? Barbara is not. Right, Will is. Will needs a drink. Okay, that's fine. Sharon is coming out as well, but Sharon needs to use all of the facilities. Right, hang on a minute. Yeah, nip to the nip to the loo, then nip for a shower. Crikey's, then have a drink, and then Chris just needs a drink. Okay, Chris, go get some water. Right, everyone, go and do the things, and then we're going to go on a bit of a rescue mission. And I think Barbara is just making lots of things. Right, come on, finish your shower. Nice quick shower. Have a drink. There we go. I think we can now send some people out and about. So let's mount an expedition. Um, let's get, uh, no, not Ronald. We want, yeah, so Will and uh, Chris go at the front, don't they? Because they are fighty people. And then Betty at the back and we'll take Sharon. Yeah, okay, right. Happy with that. That's all good. Right, let's kit them out with the stuff. Okay, there we go. I think everybody has the right bits and bobs. Yeah, we've got the bags and the binoculars and all that kind of stuff, just in case. So, right, everyone's got what they need. And now let's head out to just there, please. And then I think maybe what we could do is when we get there, we could have a wander over here if we just grab a few more rations. So that's going to take, what, nine out of six rations? I don't quite know what that means, but we'll just take a few more. Oh, no, there we go. It needs six, I think. Is that what that's telling us? But we're going to take 16. Do you know what? Take take 20, just in case you wander over here. And then also have a wander further around CTK territory, because we can now do that. And they're not going to come and get us. 
because we've got that skill, which means we can just wander about the place however we like, which is very good. Okay, right, first things first, so let's see if we can go and help out our buddies by uh, sort of freeing their captive person. And, um, and Barbara. Barbara and Ronald. Where is Ronald? Uh, Ronald, where are you? You're down there. Right, Ronald. Are you going to get a drink? Yes, Ronald's getting a drink. That's fine. Right, Ronald. Could you please carry on reading the charisma book? And Barbara, I don't know, do some exercise. Repair that thing and then go on the treadmill. There we go. And everyone else can just sort of dash out the door and do the stuff. And it's regular rain. It's regular rain on the surface. It's happened very early. Oh, please say it's going to rain all day. Right, so how much water is in the, um, the water purifier? Only seven. Only seven lots. And it is purifying it. But here we go. This thing here is going to collect lots of water. Look at it. It's ticking up. Our tea maker thing that you can't see just here is, you know, that's, that's turning all this water into lovely, lovely tea. There we go. Topping up very nicely. I'd like to be able to get toward 50, if at all possible. Let's see. Let's see what happens. How is that going to go? I don't know. Have we got anything growing? We've got rice, which is not growing very well at all because it's a bit cold. And oh, yeah, the things died, didn't they? The things died up there. They died. Um, OK, Barbara, Barbara, I know you're doing some exercise, but could you stop for a second? If you nip up to here, just do some repairs because you're out in the rain. It counts as a free shower. So you might as well go outside and have a shower, but not use up any of our precious water. That we're trying to collect. So you go and do that. Please get out whilst it's raining. That'd be amazing. There we go. Look. And yeah, it's counting as a shower because she stood in the rain. Oh, maintenance training has gone up. Another faction goal complete. Increase object repair speed. Oh, that's perfect. That's what she's up here doing. Was having a free wash in the rain. Oh, okay. I mean, did get up to 50. Our water got up to 50, but I was expecting it to rain for the entire day. <laughs> oh dear. Lots of people in the comments um, keep saying, you need to increase your water storage. I mean, I think we can keep 140 units of water. I mean, it's just rained for two days in a row and we're up to 51. I don't think we need to increase our water storage right now. Maybe in the sort of, you know, autumn slash fall and winter we might do, but right now I think we're fine. Can we... How do we go about upgrading this? Can we make that a bit better? We need a couple of lenses. Oh, we could. We could increase the forecast to three days. And also, oh, and we can rip, we can upgrade the durability of it as well. Do you know what? Let's do that now. Because we can, and she's good at this. So Barbara can go over and make that fall apart slightly less often. And then it was lenses, wasn't it? You're very good at making lenses. Come down here and make, I oh, don't know, make 10 more. That'll do. Make a load of lenses, please. And how are you doing, Ronald? Can we please get the skill? Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Um, how about we get Ronald? Ronald can be a motivator. 50% increase to crafting and fixing speeds while he's in the shelter. Absolutely. That sounds amazing. Um, and I think, hang on, is that it for him? Yes, that's it for him for now. But he is heading toward the, uh, heading toward the skill we like. Okay, so you go make a load of these things. And hang on a second. Right, we're there. Here we go. We've encountered the survivors. Uh, okay, here we go. Encountering forest. Fighty time, everybody. And it's one person. Back off. Don't think for a second you'll be taking our prize from us. We captured it, so we get to torture it. Yeah, I don't like the CTK mob. They're a little bit... They seem to lack morals and principles and such like. And T, they lack all these important things. I think, yeah, we might need to be an enemy of them, but be friends with Los Muertos. Um, okay, do you know what? We want to have a fight because that's why we're here. Okay, so they're a bit grumpy with us. I think we can take this one person and they've become afraid of us because at least one of us has got great big, I don't know, thigh muscles or something and they're scared of the terrifying big thighs. Uh, okay, let's concentrate on their head and let's use Crush Windpipe. Signature Betty move. Signature Betty miss. Well done, Betty. <laughs> do you know what? You can have another go at that. And there we go. They are now dazed. So they are winded and dazed and scared, which is brilliant. Okay, Betty, you end your turn. Um, Will, do you know what? Just just do the, the stereotypical hit with the baseball bat about the head. Boom. Right. That was surprisingly straightforward. Okay. <laughs> we'll take all of their things. Um, okay, they're off doing a spot of gardening and carrying a bucket round. Okay, that's fine. So now do we get their... We don't want to take them prisoner. But have we rescued their, the person that was here? I don't know. How do we do that? 
You've rescued the prisoner. Contact the faction to complete the job. Okay. Well done, team. That was very impressive. Hang on a second. So we can go down here. Contact them from here. So, uh, yeah, all right. Contact faction. Lost Murtas. Job. Here we go. It, it's done. Continue. Finish this. 55 reputation. That's very good. They've made their way back to them. Okay. That's gone very well. So now what have we got? 60 with Los Muertos. That must have gone up. Really? It's only 60. Hang on. I thought we had loads with them. I thought we had loads with them. 115. That's a bit better. So CTK mob. Yeah, they're a bit grumpy with us. Church absolutely haters. Los Muertos. Yeah, kind of becoming a bit friendly with them. I don't know what we need to actually become their ally. What if we just go and ask? Hello, Los Muertos. Would you like to request an alliance? Can we have one? Hold on. You want to form an alliance with us? Okay, right. They're, they're basically said no. <laughs> no, go away, that was. But politely. Politely, please clear off. Okay, now they finished what they were doing. So I think, let's head over here to this shack. So let's head over there to that shack. And then, because we can't see why, where anything else is, let's go there. So, okay, yeah. Go and do that, please. Have a little wander through the woods and then, you know, go looking around a shack. Our planter here is not doing anything. Let's put something in here, shall we? So, do we grow some mushrooms? Well, I don't quite know what we can use them for. As a mushroom soup or something? Is there a mushroom soup? Have I completely made that up? That might be in a completely different game. I don't know. Um, there's boiled rice, broccoli. Yeah, there is mushroom soup. That does require water, obviously. I'm a little bit loath to use our water for the poor quality foods, unless we then turn that into rations. I mean, really? Really, we want to get our hands on some lovely two-star meat and some two-star rice. But unfortunately, yeah, we're going to struggle to get our hands on those. Um, so we could grow some mushrooms, but I think maybe just potatoes. Just get some more potatoes in there because they're really, really good. There you go. More potatoes, please. And then we do that and the light comes on. Okay, they are growing. Can we expand the bunker? Is that something we can do? If I click on the right button, it might help. Um, a dirt room. Yes, we can. One more bit of dirt room then, please, Barbara, after you've gone to have a sleep. That's fine. That's okay. You can have a nap. That's okay. We'll let you rest. We don't want you to sort of collapse in the door again like you did the other day. Okay, so Barbara's had her sleep. She's going to go building. And I think, there we go, the expedition party have finished looking through there. So let's see what they've got. I mean, do you know what? It all looks like good stuff. So we'll take everything for now because I think we've got plenty of carry capacity. So there we go. Right, that's quite a lot of wood coming in. What's that? Some silver. Very nice. Bit of rubber. Got some ammunition. 18. 18 pistol ammo. That's very good. And some cement. Oh, that's brilliant because we need all the cement we can get our hands on to sort of finish expanding the base a bit. Yeah. Okay. Right. Very happy with that. Right. There is over there. What's that? Ah, that is a CTK mob outpost. Okay, right, so we could go and fight that and take this whole forest off them, but I don't think we want to do that right now. Let's, I know, change the route, clear all the, hang on, delete all waypoints, um, go there, because I don't think they're going to bother us if we go just there, and then we can have a look around over here somewhere. So yeah, you just go, go a wandering a bit more, please, expedition folks. And Barbara has completed work over here on the extra bit of bunker. Yeah, we need a couple more bits, and then this whole floor will be complete. And that'd be very handy indeed. Right, can we start making slightly more advanced kind of training things? Like, what do we need for this? What do we need for the heavy punch bag? We need some chains. Ah, significantly more leather. Okay, that is something that we're not going to be able to come by very easily. Unless we go hunting. We might possibly have to go hunting. However, that's the heavy punch bag. Hang on, hang on. Don't we need a middling punch bag? Is there a middle tier punch bag? I know it's that there. It's some light weights. They help people. Yeah, recommended strength and fortitude levels of 6 to 10. Ah, okay. Or the poor bike. Ah, oh, the poor bike. Um, That needs three pipes and that's it. Oh, we could build an exercise bike. I mean, not a very good one, but we could build one. Okay, okay. That might be worth thinking about. And then getting, so what do you need? Three sheets of metal and three three pipes. Okay, right, hang on, hang on, Barbara, you're good at this kind of stuff. Can you make three sheets of metal? Yes, you can. However, you can only make one pipe. Botherations. Okay, never mind, never mind. We'll at least get the weights in place, I think. So there we go. That gives you something to do, Barbara. That'll keep you busy for a bit. I don't think we can recycle anything, unfortunately. There we go. Right, and then if we craft ourselves some light weights, 
and pop them down here somewhere. We could do with an actual light as well. <laughs> that wouldn't go amiss. It's a bit dark down here. So maybe a light could be quite useful when you've finished. But there you go. Right, they've reached the end of over here. It's it's just woods. Just, just endless forest over here. Okay, uh, right, change your route. Head up to there. And we'll see what's there. And then we might possibly start heading back after that. Because they will have been out for quite some time. Okay, there we go. There we go. Right, and then, yeah, can you put a light, please? <laughs> We've got the power for it. And it is a little bit dark around there. So hang on. Tier 2. Um... Oh, we need metal shavings. Is there anything that we can recycle to turn things into metal shavings? Have we got loads of extra stuff that we don't need? Hang on a minute, hang on. Recycle. What can we get rid of? Okay, let's get rid of that for a start. Some of those. We don't need those. We have got 38 tier 1 springs. Why don't we just say, okay, get rid of, I don't know, 10 of those. That's another 20 metal shavings. Um, Kind of want to keep all those things. Um, These baseball bats can go. Because they're rubbish ones. We don't use those. They can go. So they're bits of wood. That's quite nice. Um, that might have to do. That might have to do. What if we get rid of that? What does that do? Oh, one shotgun shell is worth five metal shavings. Um, okay, let's get rid of three of those as well. Okay, so 4.8 hours for the recycler to do all that kind of stuff. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. We can wait that long. We can wait that long. That's okay. And then we can get a light in. I mean, yeah, how long have we got left now? Three hours. It'll fly by as you stand in the dark looking at a door, Barbara. We have our end of week report thing, but I don't think it tells us anything that we didn't already know. Because, yeah, Los Muertos, they're sort of okay with us. Church of Hope really hate us. And CTK Mob are just a little bit kind of angry toward us. But I think they're angry to everybody because I think they're slightly unhinged. So, um, yeah, okay, look, that's fine. Events last week, we kind of not aware of any of them. Events this week... The New Order is attacking an outpost belonging to the Church of Hope. Ooh. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We were thinking about going for that outpost. Does that mean that if the New Order faction take control of this, the Church are gone and we get to meet a new faction? Oh, that's exciting. And animal density increase. An influx of animals has been spotted in the area. Hunting will yield better results. Ah, and that's over here in our woods. So if we go to there... We might get a lot more stuff. Ah, that could be handy. That could be useful. Ooh. Oh, hang on. What have we found there? It's quite a nice little garden. What's that? A park. <gasps> Can we go to the park? Is there a slide? Okay, well, hang on a minute. We're all going to go on the slide. It's going to be amazing. There we go. <laughs> Head to the park immediately because that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. Well, there we go. They can go to a park and we'll just wait for the recycler to finish doing its thing, which it nearly has done. There we go. Barbara, collect items. Pick up all of these things. So take all of that. Thank you very much. Uh, and then go to here. Craft an item. Please. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, it's there, isn't it? Went to the wrong thing. Um, please make us a light because it's a little bit dark around here. So if we could put a light just there, that would be handy. Yeah. Pop a light down there, please. And then can you also, if I press the right thing, can we make that bike now? Where was it? Tier two bike. I oh, know a couple of pipes. We need two pipes. Of course we do. Right, okay. Go down here. Couple of pipes. Yeah, this is why Barbara collapsed from exhaustion because Barbara does pretty much everything around the bunker while everyone else just swans about doing other stuff. I mean, Ronald's just doing nothing at all. Don't quite know what he's up to. <laughs> do you want to help out, Ronald? Uh, okay, and exercise bike. A poor bike. I think that's a bit harsh. There we go. That I like that. A little sort of mini gym down here. And if we move things around, we probably could get things a bit better. Right, here we go. We've arrived. Oh, there's like a whole town. Residential apartments. What's that there? That's an outpost. Controlled by we don't know who. Are we about to meet some new people? Oh, look at this. They've got big, tall buildings. But yeah, because we've gone into one of their sites, that's why we've kind of bumped into these people. So that skill doesn't kind of, the skill that we've got, the Mission of Mercy thing, doesn't sort of work when we go into one of their places. Oh, this is very exciting. The Black Roses. Okay. Who are you and why are you in our territory? This land belongs to the Black Roses, always has and always will. We're not in the habit of letting strangers pass through our land and we're not going to start now. Um, okay. Who are you guys? The Black Roses is a strictly non-male group. We're extremely well practiced in range combat. You will find it hard to make it close to us without getting a new hole in your head. <laughs> Do you know what? At least you're putting this very eloquently. 
you're not like the CTK mob folks who are a little bit kind of crazy with it. You're just very eloquently telling us that you're going to shoot us in the head without telling us directly that you're going to shoot us in the head. Um, okay, who are you? Right, that's what you just said. Work together. If you're looking for trade and alliance, your group will have to contact our leader by radio. Earn her trust if you're on free passage through these lands. Um, okay, I mean, for now, yeah, we'll, we'll just wander off. That's fine. We'll go away. I think we are searching their location anyway. <laughs> so we're still going through all of their stuff. Ah, that's fine. Okay, right, Ronald, how are your stats looking? Can you use that bar? No. Okay, Ronald, uh, you're going to be our gun person, actually, weren't you? You were going to be good at shooting. So you go and do some exercise, please. And um, and then, yeah, Barbara, get down here and build this. And then I think, Barbara, maybe, after you've done all this building work, you could probably just go and have a bit of a rest. Go and have a sleep. Oh, increase object crafting speed. We're going through the faction goals today. This is very good. Right, so repair that bed. And then go and have a sleep on it, Barbara. You've earned a little nap. Although, hang on a second, Barbara. A trader has arrived. Are they good? It's Paul, the trader. Um, oh, Paul's got all this good, exciting stuff. He's got all this stuff here. And, of course, we have lenses. We have lenses to trade. So, hang on a second. Trade value. I oh, know we used all the lenses. I oh, know, we've got loads spare. It's fine. What if we give you four lenses, which we're not really using? They're only down here in terms of trade value. Oh, okay. And what about... One lot of uh, duct tape, oh, woo, and then we can take various bits and bobs. Mineral ore, yeah, that's okay. Hang on, hang on. Let's order this by, uh, hang on, press the right button. Order it by trade value. So what's that? Anti-radiation tablets. They could come in useful. That'll be handy. Um, glass jar, that's quite expensive. Ginger root is quite expensive. But I feel like we should pick some up whilst we're here. What else have we got? Holy basil. <laughs> Holy basil, Batman. Um, some carrot seeds. We've got carrots, haven't we? Raw honey. Should we pick up a bit of that whilst we're here? Uh, oh, hang on. What's that? Oh, it's empty petrol cans. Do you know what, though? Plastic. That's fine. We'll take that. We like a bit of plastic. I mean, do we just pick up some random sort of ingredients? What about, I don't know, passion flower? That sounds nice. And St. John's wort. And some aloe vera. Oh, crikey. Okay, we've got loads of trading capacity. Um, how about, uh, I don't know, another St. John's wort. And then we've got a little bit left. Have a bit of the have a bit of the holy basils. And, I don't know, what's that? Animal fat. We get animal fat. Okay, what about echinacea? That's quite nice. Yeah, okay, let's go for that. Let's go for this weird combo of things. Attempt trade 100%. There you go, Paul. <laughs> Enjoy your four lenses and your duct tape. It's a little bit weird, but right you are. And... The travelling party have finished searching. Oh, they got some seeds. Camping gear. Another gun. Big chunk of rock. And yeah, because it's a park, they found kind of, you know, sort of you know, natural things, planty things. Yeah, okay, take all of that. Still got a little bit of room left. Could we possibly just have a look inside that apartment building? And then we'll promise we'll go away. We really will. We've interrupted Will's exercising to go and tell him to water the rice upon the surface because, yeah, it is not looking well. There we go. There we go. Right, health creeping back up. The rice is nice and soaked. Uh, okay, Will, what do you need to do? Actually, get down here and repair that and then get back exercising. That's going to be really handy. And then, Barbara, do you know what? You sort yourself out, Barbara. It's fine. And it looks like the expedition party have got to those tall buildings. They've got to the buildings. Okay, let's see what's inside. This is fascinating. I've got no idea what to expect. Okay, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Do we need to go and put some water on these? This confuses me because the soil condition is dry on those potatoes, but the growth is 99%. So, okay. Rather than waste of water, we just sacrifice 1% sort of bigger, well, whatever, smaller potatoes or something. Okay, right. What is in here? I'm expecting a lot of good stuff to come from a massive apartment building. Okay, I will admit I'm somewhat disappointed by this. Two sheets of metal is not bad. A free first aid kit is okay. Um, I mean, some soap, yeah, okay. And some duct tape, woo, a book. Very important. Intermediate logic, very exciting. Okay, take all of that. Do we just poke into the next one? I mean, okay, we're just going to have a little look over there. Just a tiny look at that building. which It looks very nice. Lovely views of that river there. We're just going to go and have a little, uh, a little look at that place. And that is an awful lot of potatoes. That is very good. Okay, right. So we've got loads of potatoes. Do we want to plant... I mean, I'm thinking... Do we put... I oh, know we can't put the broccoli in here, can we? We can't put the broccoli in. How about we get even more potatoes? Even more potatoes. That can't be a bad thing. Everyone loves a potato. 
Oh, and look at that. The rice upon the surface is now ready to be harvested. OK, I don't think we've ever had rice before. I think we've uh, had lots of other things up here, but not rice. So, OK, this is interesting. So he's grabbed, what, five, seven lots of rice and some more seeds. OK, so how about you plant those rice seeds straight back in the ground and then let's get... I mean, we could do with making some more of the um, of those stew things and they were broccoli. OK, so get a couple more broccoli things planted, please, whilst you're up there, Ronald. And there we go. The expedition party have finished rummaging through another building. OK, what's in there? Can we take all of that? Yes, we can. Oh, my goodness me. We're picking up so much stuff. I mean, do we just go and very casually have a look at this building over here whilst we're there? It makes perfect sense. Let's go there. And then maybe to that park and maybe to that building. And then we'll come home. But this time I actually do promise. Sorry, Black Roses. OK, so location one has been searched. Let's see what they've got from there. Some more metal. That's really useful. Loads of med kits and things. OK, right. So we'll take all that. We've still got quite a bit of capacity left. I mean, and this is red. I know the bar is red, but we've still got a good chunk of stuff left. So, OK, right. So now we're going to go to a park, then to another building. What's that? There's a recycling centre, a workable recycling centre. I don't know what that produces, but it sounds very handy indeed. But OK, that bit is also controlled by the Black Roses. OK, we won't go and do that right now because I think they might get a little bit cross with us. OK, right, let's move time on. Let's get our expedition party doing even more searching. And Ronald has the charisma point he needs to get the lovely Mission of Mercy skill. So there we go. That's very good. Also, dexterity. Right, Ronald. Ranged weapon training increases ranged accuracy by 15% for all ranged attacks. OK, so now Ronald, I think, hang on, Ronald has a dexterity of four right now. OK, so that's pretty good. So I think now stop doing charisma and get over here. Um, yeah, so start, well, repair that first. Why couldn't you exercise on that? Repair that first and then um, too tight. Oh, he's too tight. Oh, yeah, he's completely exhausted. Hang on a minute. Go and repair the bed and then go and sleep in the bed. OK, expedition party, what have we found in the park? A load of stuff. Wonderful. Right, on to the next and then you can come home, promise. And what have they found from the final building they've rummaged through? Oh, quite a lot of stuff. Hang on, right. Take everything we can. OK, there are some things here that we want and I think there are some things that we could possibly get rid of. We don't need all of this stuff. I mean, paint cans, yes, I'm all for taking paint cans. Metal. I mean, these great big sheets of metal are really, really good. I mean, ideally, ideally, I'd like the metal. And also there's a book, uh, Intermediate Oratory. OK, that's good for charisma stuff. Um, I mean, do we need a big lump of rock? Oh, well, that could that can be turned into limestone, which can be used for crafting and such like. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's have a look at weight. So what is the heaviest thing we're carrying? A massive punctured tyre that turns into rubber. I think we have enough rubber back at base. So if we get rid of that, can we take that and that and that book and that first aid kit and that and that and that and oh, right, okay. We can take everything and leave behind a punctured tire. Okay, do you know what? That's fine. I think that's a pretty good deal. Oh, and a crowbar. There's a crowbar just there as well, a new kind of melee weapon. Okay, I mean this has been a wonderful haul. This has been an amazing haul. What a splendid trip out. And we saved somebody on the way as well. Right, but now head home. Head home. Oh, have they ran out of food? They've possibly ran out of food. They might be a little bit hungry and starving and dying a bit when they get in. Yeah, let's just, let's let's get them home really, really quickly, please. Run home if you can, folks. OK, once again, we've overlooked Barbara in terms of skill assignments. I do apologise, Barbara. I'm very, very sorry. However, this one here could be quite good for Barbara. I like the sound of this because Barbara doesn't really get into the fighting very much. She prefers to do the more sort of clever brainy things. So I think let's give her set bone. Can attempt to cure a broken limb. 25% chance of success. I mean, that's better than nothing. And we can keep levelling that up. So if she does go out and somebody does receive a broken bone, she can at least try and help them out a little bit. So that could be handy. And then in terms of dexterity, I mean, do we just make her a blade specialist? So she can at least fight with a weapon that we give her. So how about that there? And then she has a point in fortitude. Now, I don't quite know what that's come from. Oh, the treadmill. The treadmill gives her fortitude. OK, right, there's loads here. There's loads of things here. So I need to look through these because we haven't really seen many fortitude skill things. So let me have a quick look through and just see what's going to be the most useful one for Barbara. 
Oh, this skill is perfect for Barbara. This is absolutely incredible. So tireless engineering, a passive skill, reduce the rate at which tiredness increases whilst repairing or crafting by 10%. I mean, that's perfect. That is absolutely ideal for Barbara because that's what she does. She runs around the bunker repairing things and crafting things and building things. And now if we give her that skill, she can do all that, but become less worn out whilst doing so. I mean, you know, Barbara is our tireless engineer. That is exactly what she does. I mean, apart from that time when she did you know, get so tired that she fell asleep on the floor in a doorway. Apart from then, she wasn't quite so tireless then. But I mean, that was my fault. That was my fault that that happened. I kind of you know, took my eye off the ball with her for a little bit and I ran her literally into the ground. So that was kind of my fault. All the other times Barbara has been amazing. So I think let's give her that. Let's give her a point of tireless engineering. And you know, if we're sort of role playing the characters a little bit, this is very, very suited to Barbara. So there you go, Barbara. You can now become a tireless engineer, which is wonderful. Right now, all I want to do is get our traveling party home. I just want to get them home. Oh, Ronald's increased his strength. Oh, crikey, Ronald. And his fortitude. Okay, Ronald, have a point in inherent strength because we want to make you big and strong. So that's exciting. Um, and then fortitude. Oh, crikey. Okay, right. Well, let's have a look what we do for Ronald. Unless, unless, hang on, what's that? Iron stomach. That's food poisoning. Not so bothered about that. How about this? Pain resistance training. That sounds quite good. Or home turf advantage. If fighting inside the shelter, the character deals 30% more damage. Do you know what? Let's give him that. Let's just top that up to the uh, maximum tier that it can be. And if we do get attacked whilst everyone's back at home, then, you know, he can lead the charge a little bit there. Right. Come on, traveling party. Please get home very soon. But look at this. We have got quite a lot of water because for some time we've only had two people in the shelter. So they haven't really drank much or anything. So yeah, that's pretty good going. I mean, that would deplete very soon when everyone comes back in. But yeah, it's looking pretty good now. And the adventuring party have arrived home and look at all this wonderful stuff. Okay, right. Deposit that into storage. That was quite a lot of stuff. That was a lot of stuff. Anything not transferred to storage will go to the junk pile. Um, okay, does that stuff automatically go to the medical box or something? We haven't left those things in the junk pile, have we? We want to keep those. Why can't we keep these? Oh, oh, I know why. Because I don't think our, our little med box is big enough. I don't think our medicine cabinet can hold all those things. No, no. Okay, right, that might be an issue. We might want to possibly look at that. But do you know what? Everyone's back home. Let's just, Ronald just came up to the surface to do a spot of watering. Hang on. Hang on, we need to make sure that people don't go and eat food with dirty hands and give themselves food poisoning and stuff. So I think what we'll do is, we will pause for now, to finish things up. Hang on. Oh, there's someone at the intercom. Hello, Mark. Hit the jackpot. Oh, Mark, you, you seem a nice person. You, I mean, your hair looks weird over your gas mask. Do you know what, Mark? I mean, it's going to be a no, I'm afraid, but would you like some tea as you, as you leave? Because, you know, we've got a little bit of that and we're not total monsters. So would you like some tea? Okay, Mark didn't take the tea. He wasn't really happy that we turned him away and he muttered something about coffee as he left or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, so I'm sorry, Mark, but we can't fit anybody else in right now. And I think with that done, we will finish things up for now. I think we've done very, very well this time round. We've had a good explore this time. We've not done that for a while actually and you know we've uncovered a little bit more of the map which is no bad thing we now know a little bit more about the world around us which is very handy and of course we met a new faction we met the black roses so hopefully they might be our friends we could try and get in their good books that could be very handy indeed and of course we brought back a load of stuff to put into the recycler that means we might be able to make even more things we have some more kind of training equipment down here so you know, it's all looking very good it's all moving in the right direction so yeah it's all looking splendid so i think yeah we'll finish things up for the moment hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be very very lovely indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in sheltered 2 but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time let's follow matt spence aka duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain there are a lot of angry people still i don't know why never ever employ him he's terrible this place is full of rats Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. 